Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Tuesday of the sixth week of Easter. Our Easter season rapidly drawing to a conclusion. Uh, today, our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, we see an intervention of sorts from Paul and his companions. Uh, they were beaten, thrown into jail and secured in the depths of the jail during the night it said that like an earthquake hit and burst open the doors of the jail and shook everything free and they were not shackled anymore the jailer when he woke up and saw this was going to commit suicide thinking he had failed in his duties But Paul called out from the prison, letting him know that they were still there, not to worry, don't harm yourself. And then the prisoner was converted. Beautiful, uh, not the, the jailer, I'm sorry, the jailer was converted by the prisoners who did not escape, although they had means to escape. So the, uh, the story of the church early beginnings just continues to unfold in miraculous and beautiful ways our gospel today jesus still is in the uh, you know we're still in this 15th chapter of john where jesus is still speaking to his disciples in the upper room at the last supper telling them that he's you know, it's time for him to depart. And he said, you know, it's a good thing for you that I'm leaving because, you know, you're filled with grief, but you shouldn't be. You should be happy that I'm going to the Father because when I go to the Father, I'm going to send you the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, who will fill you with wisdom, courage, knowledge, and remind you of everything that I've taught you. the divine presence of Jesus still alive and well and living with us today through the power of the Holy Spirit. God in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, capable of having an earthly presence with us 2,000 years later. Such a power such a love that God has for us that he gives us the body of Christ the blood of Christ the divinity of Christ to nourish us to feed us on the journey and the wisdom the strength the power of the Holy Spirit to enable us to live our lives to the fullest what more is there to ask for ah one more thing eternal life in the Father's house in heaven. The trifecta, right? So let us pray our evening prayer today in thanksgiving for our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit being with us each and every moment of our lives from now and for all eternity. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. God. Come to my assistance, Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Seek the things of heaven, not those that are on the earth. Alleluia. (coughs) Hear this, all you peoples. Give heed, all who dwell in the world men both high and low, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With the harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me, men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches? For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. 
the ransom of his soul is beyond him. <coughs> he cannot buy <coughs> I'm sorry. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and must leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age. Though their names spread wide through the land, in his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Seek the things of heaven, not those that are on the earth. Alleluia. The Lord has rescued my life from the power of hell. Alleluia. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep, they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd. And the just shall become their rulers. With the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death, and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lives, <clears throat> men will praise me for all my success that he will go to join his fathers and will never see the light any more. In his riches, man lacks wisdom. He is like, like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Make our mouth speak your wisdom, Lord Jesus, and help us to remember that you became man and redeemed us from death, that we might merit the beauty of your light. The Lord has rescued my life from the power of hell. Alleluia. Yours, O Lord, is majesty and power, glory and triumph. Hallelujah. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain with your blood. You purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Yours, O Lord, is majesty and power, glory and triumph. Hallelujah. <laughs> Joseph, such a good boy. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Yeah, sit down, good boy. Come to the Lord, a living stone, rejected by men, but approved nonetheless and precious in God's eyes. You too are living stones built as an edifice of spirit into a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, the disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. Believe me, it is for your own good that I am going. If I do not go, the paraclete will not come, Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. 
for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich. He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Believe me, it is for your own good that I am going. If I do not go, the paraclete will not come. Hallelujah. By his resurrection, Christ has given sure hope to his people. Let us ask him with our whole hearts. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, from your wounded side flowed blood and water. Make the church your spotless bride. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Chief Shepherd, after your resurrection, you made Peter shepherd of your flock when he professed his love for you. Increase from day to day the love and devotion of Francis, our Pope. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. You showed your disciples how to make a great catch of fish. Send others to continue their work as fishers of men. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. At the lakeside you prepared bread and fish for your disciples. Grant that we may never allow others to die of hunger. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Jesus, the new Adam and life-giving spirit, transform the dead into your own likeness, that the fullness of your joy may be theirs. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom, and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those <coughs> who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God, our Father, may we look forward with hope to, to our resurrection. For you have made us your sons and daughters and restored the joy of our youth. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, just an aside. Today I had the privilege of meeting our new pastor, Father Raphael. He stopped by uh, the parish today. He was with Father John, Father Father Juan, and they were walking around. Father Juan was showing him the building and introducing him to people that were there, and I was there, so I got to meet him. Very nice. You will like him, I promise. God bless you all, and again, see you tomorrow.